lit. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Yep, he's done it again. Chris Boyd has done it again. He hopes. Well, not so much hope. He's now saying that Rio Hatati will be sold from January. Even though the Celtic manager yesterday, we'll talk about Chris Boyd. And even though the manager said yesterday the fact that his contract isn't up for renewal or even talks. We still have three years left on his contract. So there's plenty of time to open up negotiations. But in his wisdom, in his wisdom, yes, Chris Boyd has done it again. He expects Rio Hatati Celtic transfer exit soon. As soon as January, if a new contract is not agreed, he then goes on to say in his piece, he says, um, if he doesn't put pen to paper with a new deal at Celtic, Rio Hatsati will be sold. He says he would stand out under Ange Postacoglu as they won the domestic treble last season. He's also impressed as in the Champions League, but he found himself on the bench the first two games of the season. Brendan Rodgers opting to go to David Turnbull instead in midfield along with, beside Cal McGregor and Matt O'Reilly. He then said that uh, he's obviously had a fallout. He's had a fallout with Brendan Rodgers. Oh, Chris, oh, Chris, oh, Chris. He said, if Celtic can't get him on a new long-term contract, just like Kyogo and influential captain McGregor, he reckons they will cash in when the winter window opens. Oh, Chris, Chris, Chris. And they're never going to sell him. They're never going to sell him uh, during a se- in the mid-season. Not a chance. I can bet you unlimited money that, that Sevco have. He said, "Has re- this is even this is where it gets even better." The man went on to say, "Has Rio Hatati done something to annoy Brendan Rodgers? Perhaps the Japanese midfield player has an attitude problem within the dressing room. Have you watched any of the the footage of?" I'm training before he had his injury, Chris, because you're talking absolute nonsense. Um, there's, oh, this is where it gets even better. There's probably, there's possibly a wee streak of arrogance has shone through when the when the first when the Celtic manager first took charge. Chris, you just you do anything to actually just get people to try and read your paper. It, Chris Boyd then went on to say, whatever it was, there's clearly something that explains why Hatati lost his place in the team. He lost his place in the team because during pre-season, there was a standout in pre-season, and that was Turnbull. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, Chris. You know, something that you wouldn't know about. You wouldn't know about being outstanding uh, during training or playing football, and never mind even scoring. I think David Turnbull's probably scored more the, against us than what you did. Anyway, let's move on. The chat that Rogers is eager to get him on a long-term deal. Yes, and that'll come when it is, the time is right. The, the, you know, so... Anyway, he goes on to say it'll be interesting to see how this plays out, because all the signs this far says that Hatati was heading to the exit door. And that's what he thinks. Anyway, tell me what you think about Chris Boyd in the comments section. It says that Celtic are trying to facilitate an offer. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, let's talk about Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers is playing at coy when it comes to the transfer window with Celtic. He was asked about Daniel Podence, and this one doesn't seem to be want to go away. And it could be the fact that Wolves... I've uh, got a bit of a problem. They've got a player that they bought for 16 million um, from Olympiacos, Portuguese winner, winger. He's since played 105 games. He's kind of fell out of l- l- favour with the club. Um, out of the 105 games, he's only scored 16 goals and providing another nine assists. He was left out of the opener for Man United. It is on 52 grand a week, but they want to offload him in order to get their books in balance because they have issues with the fair play woes and then that's a huge factor in getting him out the door. So Celtic know this and it looks like Celtic are playing a nice little game of let's see how far we can go before the end of the window before we make our move and get them for a really, really decent price. And you know what Celtic's like. Um, they'll make sure that they get them for the best possible money if they're going to go in for them. It's seemingly there's real Betis and Everton still being linked with them, but it looks like Celtic are the ones that are ready to enter some kind of negotiations. They're at the stage where serious negotiations can determine whether it'll happen, this transfer, or not. But 
it is one that's probably going to go right down to the wire. Now, when you talk about players that came in right down to the wire, I mean, we've brought in a good few players already this season. But if you remember back, Cameron Carter-Vickers and Jossa both came in on deadline day. So it could be the fact that we could be looking, and there was rumours last night again also, that the Kieran Tierney one, that Brendan Rodgers is looking to bring in Kieran Tierney, and he wants the Celtic money men to make this happen. But they are waiting until the, 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 other, the near to the end of the window before they're making their move. It's understood that Arsenal are wanting them out the door, but is it going to be a loan deal, or is it going to be the fact that Celtic are actually going to purchase Kieran Tierney back? Um, they've said that his value has um, came down a little over the last couple of years, but it's still going to be a lot of money, and can Celtic basically afford to put that kind of money out? Rogers was also talking about one player that he's welcomed back into training ahead of schedule yesterday. He says that Alistair Johnson has returned to full training following the, in the summer injury that he had and the surgery. He says he's back in training, he's ahead of schedule, he is brilliant. He had his first training session with the team on Friday, although we need to take it careful because if you look at what happened to Cameron Carter-Vickers, the fact that he wasn't up to speed because he hadn't had the full pre-season, Rogers did say, he says, we need to take it really easy when we need to make sure that he comes through everything correctly. And he says, we need to make sure he gets minutes on the pitch. We need to take it safely because it's a long season and it is a long season and we've got a lot of games to manoeuvre through this season, especially with the Champions League. We want to make sure that all our best players are fit uh, for when the Champions League comes around in just over a month's time. So, with that being said, Alistair Johnson is back. That's the good news. Uh, the the bad, bad news that came out last night after the great news about him signing a new long-term deal. And um, Stephen Welsh was spotted in hospital with a moon boot on. Now that means he's going to be out for at least six weeks, I would have thought, depending on the injury. You're looking at a minimum of six weeks anyway, depending really on what he's done. I mean, imagine signing a brand new contract at Celtic um, the day before, getting all the pictures released, being all happy about it, and then doing yourself an injury the next day in training. You couldn't write the script for Celtic. So anyway, in the comment section, tell me what you think about Chris Boyd. Tell me what you think about Chris and his comment. He believes that there's a bit of arrogance about Rio Hatati. And he says that he's basically fell out with Rodgers. Or is it the fact that just, you know, it was all about squad rotation and player, a player that was actually playing better in pre-season than Hatati got the nod the first two games of the season. Hatati then come on second half and then pulls a calf muscle, has a calf tear. So, I mean, you couldn't write it. Chris Boyd just surely just talks out his bahookie. Tell me what you think in the comment section. On that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the